Good morning, this is smartwatchspecifications.com, the premier site for smartwatch specs, news, and reviews. Okay, we are back with the i7 Pro Max. We are not yet, yet done with this. And of course, before we install the support app, the High Watch Pro support app in the Android platform, in our Android smartphone, this time we're going to install it in our iPhone, the iOS platform, and we'll see if we can install it properly and there are no issues okay so this video is by request so let's try and check and install the high watch pro again this is your smartwatch specifications dot com if you have any questions regarding this wearable please drop a comment below and we'll try to answer your queries okay so let's get the user manual here so we have the user manual to check on the QR code. Okay, so we have here the QR code for the support app. Okay, you see it here. I'm going to make it closer so you can scan it if you want. Or it's also available here in this wearable, I think. So let me check. We have it here music stopwatch weather dual mode here the qr code so we have here the qr code for the support app okay so let's try and scan it using our qr code scanner we'll see if this thing works okay so let's see QR code, where is that? Here we have the QR code. Okay, so let's scan it. Okay, so here it is trying to access a website. Hi, Watch Pro app. So as you can see here, we have several links here. Your Android, Google Play, the Android download, here's the APK file. You can side load, install it manually in your smartphone. And we have the iOS platform here. So let's tap and it will open the iOS store. Okay, so we have here the iWatch Pro. Okay, it is in Chinese. Chinese language. Anyway, let's install it. Okay, let's get okay while we are waiting for the installation here again let's take a look at the design again of the i7 pro max smartwatch okay as you can see beautiful body here good display screen wide slim bezel here on each side well on the bottom part it is a bit wide as you can see here okay this one okay on the back or on the side we have the crown button and the pillow shape button here on the back here we have the sensor and the connector okay so let's see if it's still downloading okay okay we have successfully installed the high watch pro app and this time of course we're going to install it so let's see if we'll have we'll have any issues with the high watch pro app in the ios platform or not we'll see if we can connect this i7 pro max okay properly without any issues in the iphone in our iphone so let's open okay so it is now Okay, it is asking for a permission, okay, for our location. So, you, we don't, we'll just allow it only while using the app, okay. So, let's try. So, access. Let's turn it all. Let's activate it all. Allow it. So, we have here. So, it is asking for you to register. Okay, if you have an account, you can already log in directly 
or you can use this login methods here okay so let's jump over let's make it fast and we have here the ui of the wearable so we have here today's steps so this is the activity monitoring here okay the daily activity monitoring we also have here on the bottom part the motion so similar to the android platform we have the profile here and the settings okay so we have the sports here so oh, seems like it's sports connected gps going back to the settings we have here the remote shutter find and message push settings so as you can see here no device so buying devices to experience more features okay so let's add our device here yes yeah, stop on it please check the bluetooth is available okay okay so let's activate it again okay so it's now scanning for the bluetooth smartwatch and as you can see here see it is able to spot the i7 pro okay so we have at least three i7 two i7 pro here so with a different okay map address so which one okay so let's see okay if you encounter this one okay all you can do is just turn off the other smartwatch or just go to our let's see to the settings let's go to the more section here where's the more section here okay about so you will see here 160d 0c f7c6 you see it there again so let's go up okay so this is how you identify your wearable okay again to go to the more settings here about okay so we have c6 f5 well on the bottom part we have 5 6 78 so let's check on this one so this is the connection here so device connection we'll see okay seems like we are connected are we connected okay bluetooth pairing quest i7 pro would like to pair with your iphone okay so okay so we are now are we successfully connected are we sure that we are successfully connected let's find it out okay so as you can see very easy to connect no issues at all so far smoothly you don't see any pop-up messages here so let's see in the message push setting so we can receive sms Okay, Facebook, Twitter. Okay. So, we're done. What are the other options here? Other settings. So, vibration settings. We also have the over-the-air update. So, you have new firmware to update please goes to auto update fully charge your smartwatch done okay so seems like we do have an okay oh no we don't have an over the air update so it's just a notification or just a reminder okay so let's see dial settings let's see if it's similar also to the android platform do we have some options here Okay, so it takes time. So this, again, it depends upon the internet connection. So we do have a slow inter inter internet connection right now. So as you can see, we see the loading. Okay. Animation here. Because we do have a 
very slow connection okay and then let's try to load it file settings can we have a good okay so that's it so we have here so it's pretty similar to the android okay seems like there's no new watch faces available although this one it's all free available in analog or and digital watch faces i think okay so that's it so similar options similar settings similar ui here with the android platform and as you can see here we did not have any problems with the installation of the support app in the ios platform so this is your i7 pro max smartwatch if you have any questions regarding this wearable and of course the process on the installation with support app please drop a comment below and we will try to answer your queries bye